guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Liz, if you're new here. I, today, am gonna give you a little Booty Gains 101, a little lesson in the glutes. <laughs> today I have a list of five things that you need to be doing in order to grow your booty. Coming up. So tip number one, in order to grow that peach, train your glutes more than one time a week. Two to three times is good, but you don't wanna be sore. If you're still sore from your previous leg and booty workout, then don't overdo it because if you're constantly exhausting those glutes when they're still trying to recover from the previous workout, then your glutes aren't gonna grow because they're gonna be so tired and overworked that they're not gonna have a chance to rebuild. I normally do my glute days on Mondays and Fridays so they're as spread out as possible because if you're lifting properly into the point where you're really sore, which you should be, you should be pushing yourself constantly in order to feel that soreness, so if you're doing it the right way, you'll need those many days in between to recover from your booty workouts. Also something that's really important on your glute days is to focus on activating your glutes before a workout because we're so used to just sitting on our butts that our glutes get tired and they're just sleepy. So do things like pulsing movements, like pulsing squats to get your butt warmed up and ready for the workout. Tip number two for growing that booty is caloric intake. You want to increase your caloric intake throughout the day. You want to be eating high quality, nutrient dense foods with an emphasis on protein. And that is because protein is going to help with muscle gain. And that's why everybody's, you know, got a protein shake craze. If you go to the gym, you got to have a protein shake after, right? But Believe it or not, you can eat something with protein in it, like chicken, you know. <laughs> and that's gonna be a much better way to get your protein in. But if you don't have time, I would definitely say protein shake is sufficient. You don't wanna be eating empty calories like processed junk. You'll wanna be eating lean meats, proteins, eat your veggies, your fiber, and your greens. The third thing you need to be doing to grow your booty is Structure your workouts effectively. The way you can do this is by adding one or two compound movements and then three or four accessory movements. Compound movements are going to be things like squats, deadlifts, hip thrusts, lunges, and leg press. You can also modify exercises, any exercise, to be more glute focused. Some things you'll have to turn your toes out, um, some things you need your legs closer together. Just find what works best for you to mindfully contract those glutes so that you can have every single exercise work for the betterment of your butt. <laughs> Something that's really helped with my mind to muscle connection in my butt has been a glute band. If you don't have a glute band, and I mean a glute band, not just like any old plastic resistance band because I used those. I used those for a long time. And the first day I used this, I noticed a difference. I was sore for the entire rest of the week up until my next booty day. Um, so this, the resistance is very intense. This is by Free Spirit. I'm actually an ambassador and I will include the discount code for 50% off in the description so you can get one if you want. Um, but this particular glute band, I put it around my, my knees for like glute bridges and squats. The first time I did a body weight squat with this thing, I was shook. Shooketh to the core. I didn't expect it to be as much of a game changer as it has been. Up until this year, I struggled with glute activation and this has been exactly what I needed to round out my butt. <laughs> and it's awesome because I can use it at home. I've included it in a few at-home booty workouts on my channel if you wanna go check those out, shameless plug. Tip number four for growing your glutes is, believe it or not, cardio. Because if you're not toned, if you have excess body fat, your booty's not gonna be as accentuated as it could be, you know, like that back curve. So if you have like excess fat on your tummy or back fat, then if you lean those out and tone those out, it's going to accentuate your booty more, especially if you've been doing the proper exercises to get those lean booty gains that we're going for. So focus on toning while also doing those compound and accessory movements twice a week and you will definitely start to see results. But let me just tell you, it's going to take probably three to five months to start seeing your butt round out. So with that's with consistent work. So these people that you see online and on Instagram with the perfect butts, either a surgery, which is quite possible and very likely in these days, 
but it's also very, very consistent and hard work over years. For me personally, this is just my personal experience, my butt has grown a lot over the past year of consistent work. I lost a lot of weight and I was doing a lot of cardio and not a whole lot of weights, so my butt got really flat. And that's not, that's not what I was going for. Doing these specific things is exactly what helped me get my butt back. So, the fifth thing you need to be doing to round your rump, <laughs> I'm running out of ideas, is you need to lift all muscle groups, especially your lower back, hamstrings, and quads, because you don't want any muscle imbalances, first of all, but also working those muscle groups as well is going to be a fantastic foundation for your butt. Hold on. Come on. <laughs> Look at you. Like I was saying, you need to build that foundation for your butt to grow properly. And if you have a toned lower back, especially having that curvature going right into your glutes, you really need that foundation. And also it's gonna look really sexy to have a nice lower back. Are you gonna get glute gains? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. That is it for this video. I hope you found it informative and helpful. That's what I always go for in my videos because my goal for my YouTube channel is helping my subscribers become their most healthy and thriving selves. So if that's something you're looking to do, why not hit the subscribe button? Go on, just go ahead and do it. Also give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful and if you enjoy videos like this so I can continue to make content that you enjoy watching. Turn on the notification bell so you never miss a new video by me. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye bye. Say bye. <laughs> You're so cute. Also go check out my other workout videos if you haven't seen them yet. There's lots of booty workouts, like I said, so go check them out. And you go get those booty gains, girl. You get them. Catch you later.